Hello and welcome to Bow Now Tarot. Today we're going to get right into the Virgo 7 Day Love Outlook. We're going to look at your mind, body, heart, and soul in the area of love. And see where you're at. See, you know, what situation you're in if you're resonating with this reading. Not everybody's going to resonate with this reading, of course. And there are plenty of other great readers out there and readings that you can check out. So if it doesn't resonate for you, just let it go. Um, the sun, moon, rising... Uh, Venus, Mars, or um, or uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or, uh, Venus, and Mars, or Moon in Virgo. All right, guys. So let's get right into it. All right. At the center, we have Two of Wands, covered by a Three of Wands, King of Cups, Page of Swords, the Magician. And the Ace of Swords. So we have the mind, heart, uh, the body, heart, mind, and soul. Wow. Bottom four of wands. The 1111 soulmate card. So new beginnings, Venus and Aries. Four of wands is Venus and Aries energy. Um, wow. Let's take a look here, Virgo. Uh, really, there's a breath of fresh air coming in. This is a great reading. There's a breath of fresh air definitely coming in your, uh, let's go straight to the center with that four of wands. I was looking at that king of cups. Maybe you, you're the king of cups. King of cups is coming into you, but let's go straight to the center. Virgo, beautiful. Two of wands, three of wands. You're ready to move forward. You're just waiting for that sign. That's it. Very straightforward. You're ready to go forward. Mars and Aries energy is two of wands. Um, that means you're ready. You, you, you've planted the seed, and now you're ready, right? The seed has taken root. There's some passion. There's some goal. There's some adventure that you want to go after, and you're willing to sort of grab the world by the, you know, you, you know, the cojones, you know what, you, you know what, to get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're ready to get it. Um, it's a very warlike energy. It's very much like, I, you know, nothing's going to slow me down. However, you are crossed with a three of wands. And a three of wands is a feeling of waiting, 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 having to wait, having to be a little bit patient. Yes, you're raring to go, but you're waiting for a particular sign or message to come in right? You need a little bit more information. So in your body and mind, we have the magician and king of cups. So in your body, we have the king of cups. In your mind, we have the magician. So the magician, in your mind, you know you have everything that you need. You are just, you know, capable, talented, skilled. Um, you know, the magician also is in charge, right? It's the ringleader, uh, when it comes to particular activities, right? Certainly when it comes to your life, being the magician, it, that means that you are the one who's absolutely in control of your life. So mentally you have a strong, strong sense of being, having everything that you need to be able to accomplish this goal that you have here. In your body, you have the king of cups. So physically there is a king coming in, or you may be the king, Virgo, so it can be vice versa, but physically there is, um, there is a connection with a very dominant individual. I feel like this king is coming in for you, Virgo, right? I feel like this king is coming to you. And, and in the area of your, of the body, right? The body, the, ma the material world, or we will call this, um, Earth, right? Um, King of Cups is there. I think somebody, like physically, they're coming into you, right? You're going to meet them, be around them. Um, there's a physicality here. I'm going to get some clarity. I can't put my finger on it just yet. It could be that you work with them in some kind of way. You may even literally just bump into them, right? Um, and but they're coming into your life in a very strong way. I want to say it can only it can it could also feel like for some of you Virgos like for instance you meet this person and now you see them all the time. Suddenly you find out that you live close to them or suddenly you find out that they work at the same company. Like you just have these physical connections that keep coming back to this individual and they are reigning dominant right now. They could be someone, Virgo, by the way, you know, King of Cups is very scorpionic energy. It's fiery water energy. 
fire of water, you may be dealing with a water sign or someone who has strong water um, sort of energy in their chart. I'm always careful to say what kind of sign you're dealing with because um, that generally that's an oversimplification talking about sun signs. You may be dealing with uh, an earth sign, you know, who has strong water uh, energy in their chart at the right place. So take that as you will, okay? Now you have heart and soul. Page of swords, ace of swords. In your heart, you are positive. You're feeling positive about it, right? Cautiously optimistic. Page of swords is, you know, not, not succumbing to doubt or not succumbing to self-negative thoughts, you know, self-negativity and, and thoughts that you aren't good enough, right? It's overcoming the fears of, of being inadequate. Page of swords is, you know, pages are always about overcoming fear in that suit. And here we have overcoming inadequacy or feelings of inadequacy, feelings that you aren't good enough, you know, and seeing yourself more clearly and with, in a positive light. So in your heart, you feel very positive and um, clear-headed, right? There's a clarity there, and it's, and, it's, and it's running through your heart area, right, because it's in position of the heart. So it's interesting because you're, I think that you're, you feel like this is a very clear connection with this individual. I feel like they're coming in, King of Cups. Four of Wands, of course, already is letting you know that it's the beginning of a twin flame journey. Then in your soul, right, um, heart and soul, in your soul you have an Ace of Swords, so there is a brand new way of... Uh, operating, thinking of things, thinking of your love life, you feel almost vindicated, right? It could be that you've held on to certain beliefs that may have not been popular before about the way you want to live your life, et cetera, et cetera. And maybe those have uh, then reverberated in your love life to have maybe not so healthy connections or connections with people who don't understand you, right? Here your spirit is soaring because you feel like there is a connection uh, there's a connection with someone who understands you, right? A new connection with someone who understands you, a new sort of, uh, I want to say, type of engagement. And it feels, again, spiritually for you, it feels like a breath of fresh air, right? It feels like they understand you spiritually. And it feels like a vindication. It could be that you've really put off um, being open to love for some time until the right person has come along. But this King of Cups is coming along and really sort of, you have a King of Cups and an Ace of Swords. Like, it's just like, look, you know, strong, strong love energy, uh, masculine energy coming in. That energy, King of Cups knows what he wants. And... If they're coming into you, they know you, Virgo. They know they want you, and this, and they know, and and you feel like they understand you. So it's not like they just want you for their, because of what they're projecting or what they're seeing. They want you because they understand you, and that to you is like a vindication, almost that you were right to stick, stick to sort of who you are and stick to your truth, right? Not to compromise. Feels beautiful. This is just the next seven days, all right, guys? So, you know, take it as it comes, but it feels really beautiful. Nevertheless, you're waiting for some information. So it could feels to me also like this is very, very new, right? This is very, very new, and you, Virgo, may be getting very excited about it, uh, but it's very, very new. Let me turn this off, okay. Very, very new. And still, you're kind of like, okay, I'm ready to go, but I just need a little bit more information. You know, I just need a little bit more of a sign. And you're going to get it, because King of Cups is not one who's going to be, like, shy about it or wishy-washy. They're, you know, it's the resonating up of the night in a lot of ways, right? So the King of Cups, like is much more devoted and committed than the Knight of Cups. He, 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 you know, the Knight of Cups will sweep you off your feet and communicate all the love to you, but the King of Cups is the one who will marry you, right? He's the one who's like, look, I want you for, you know what I mean? I want you for me, and, uh, and I know what I want. And that surety as well, it can be, you know, it's, it feels good because it's like you're dealing with somebody who knows what they want, they, and, and, and if they want you, they know you, right? You feel like they know you, right? And this is what's happening here. A real kind of, I want to say, uh, coming together of the minds, you guys mentally really uh, connect. 
There's the strength card coming out. Three of swords. Oh, so there was the ace of cups, new love, and page of wands ready to move forward. Yeah. So let me go straight to this three of swords. You're feeling much more optimistic because in the past you've been through a betrayal, right? And you're over it, right? You're over this betrayal. And it's interesting because remember I said this feels like a vindication here, right? This betrayal probably came, uh, I want to say, probably came at, at a at some kind of cost in as much as, well, all betrayal comes at a cost, but the cost was also kind of a little bang to your steam, right? It could have been like, you you may have been blamed for, you know, it almost feels like Virgo, you may have gone through something where somebody cheated on you and then turned around, tried to gaslight you and blame you for it, right? Oh, if you hadn't have done that, I wouldn't have had to do this. Or if you had acted more like this, I would have stuck around, you know what I mean? And, um, and it's like, no, no, it was probably very difficult to go through that. You stuck with that and you maintained yourself through that instead of allowing them to sort of bring down your self-esteem. Page of Swords there. Um, and so s remaining sort of strong in yourself, honest and clear in yourself. And so now that this love is coming in, Ace of Cups, beautiful. Now that this love is coming in, right? And it's coming in over you in a sense that they see you in your full glory. They see who you are. They see you working your magic, right, Virgo, uh, whether that be at work or wherever it is that they're running into you and they are falling in love with you. They may be giving you compliments like, wow, you're so good at this or you're so good at that or, you know, it's, it's you know, you are really coming across as, as something magical to them in a lot of ways just because of the way you carry yourself. And so now that this strong love is coming in, it's like you're being vindicated here because here it's like you knew it wasn't you. You weren't the one, right? The betrayal came in from out. So we have strength over that king of cups in a position of the body, earth, or grounded position, material plane. Again, strength, right? A lot of strength. So hold on to your passions, right? Um, strength is all about maintaining yourself uh, despite feelings coming up, right? Remaining centered and being able to stay strong and focused despite feelings maybe of jealousy or of uh, passion. It can even be feelings of passion, but feelings of maybe even jealousy, anger, whatever like that. Uh, you know, possessiveness or uh, controlling, things like that. There's some, there's a sense of strength that is being shown here. So I want to say it feels to me like this person is coming across like this to you, right? So your King of Cups is coming across as someone who is reserved, but very strong. Someone who's very passionate, right? But who's very strong, who's not going to allow sort of pettiness and jealousness and enviousness and pridefulness and all of those type of baser emotions to rule them. So you you have somebody, strength card is card for Leo. So you have somebody, again, that fiery aspect of water. So they have the emotional component, but they're very fiery. And they're, of course, that king-like, you know, strong presence, right? Ace of Swords, Page of Wands. So again, more, f f you know, Two of Wands, Page of Wands. Freedom from fear of going after what you want. Page of Wands is all about that. Freedom of going after your passion, going after what you desire, going after what it is you that fulfills your soul, and not being afraid of ridicule what the rest of the world thinks. Walking to the beat of your own drummer. All of that, and that is what it feels like. It feels like freedom and vindication having this King of Cups come in. It could even be that the person that, um, Virgo, the person who betrayed you or the, this situation in which you had a betrayal here, and it does feel like they cheated on you or something like that, at the time, they may have made it seem like you, you know, they were the better partner, you know, for whatever reason, higher status, whatever. Um, and that, you know, they they went ahead and, and, and I see a scenario for some of you, like they went ahead and cheated with somebody who maybe uh, had more access, for instance, to certain things. So it seemed like, oh, I'm going for somebody so-called better, right? And you're like, no, I'm not, on the surface, they may look better. They may, you know, get their hair done, it's just an example, it's not a gender example, but they may get their hair done, have all the nice clothes and ride the nice car and be always put together, uh, right? But I am I have more substance to me. And then here, your vindication is this King of Cups who comes in who's much stronger than they were, you know, stronger, more attractive, more status, you know, more prosperity. And here you are actually in the end 
uh, getting the love of, of someone who is actually resonating higher than this person who betrayed you. Because if they were willing to betray you, it doesn't matter on the outside what they look like and what they feel like status they may have. There is a there is a darkness there, right? Um, there is a, uh, a lower vibration there, right? And so here you are actually vibrating up higher with a stronger companion, a stronger love interest coming in that is much more sort of, uh, I want to say, evolved on all levels, right? And you're the one who's resonating up, right? It's like if, if you put it in terms of financial terms, you know, you may have been dating a manager here who broke up with you because you, you were just a, you know, just a worker, and here you've fallen in love with the owner of the company, right? And the, or the owner of the company has fallen in love with you. You see what I'm saying? That kind of like resonating up on all levels. This person here is definitely a much... Uh, fuller person, because I don't like to value people, but a much fuller evolved, I, I want to say, and uh, higher resonating individual than the person you went through here with this. Okay, let me pull two spirits, see what two spirits are like this week. I'm going to call that a reading. Two spirits for Virgo. Show me. Just to see what is around of energies that may be helping or hindering to the situation or just adding. Show me. Wow, cards are so jumpy today. Show me. I'm going to cut this one because they're too jumpy. Yep, mirror spirit, spirit of skulls, illness, melancholy, depression. Ha <laughs> ha. So be careful with that. Vanity, right? So there's something there coming in, and it could be that um, spirit of the skulls, depression, illness, melancholy, interesting. Could be that somebody, you may be affecting somebody with this, this new union, because this strong three of swords coming in, I wouldn't be surprised, Virgo, if, uh, you know, this person sees you resonating with your king of cups or sees the beginning of it and comes in, right, to sort of like, Mess, you know what I mean? Mess it up, interfere, bring you back to a place of melancholy and worry. I don't feel like the melancholy is on your hand, on your side, Virgo. I feel like somebody may be um, using this energy to get you to feel sorry for them or to, or to break up what's happening here. So watch out for that. Reflecting vanity, deflecting, you know, that goes hand in hand, you know. So watch out for energies like that. People who are coming in and trying to make you feel sorry for them or trying to make you feel like, you know, now that you're resonating up and moving forward with a true love interest that is on your level, now all of a sudden they want you to feel sorry for them and come back to them. Just watch out for that energy. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope it gave you some insight for the next seven days in the area of love. This is Bow and Arrow Tarot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video. But for right now, enjoy your week, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye, Virgo.